Hello, how are you for here? I hope you are okay. Well, today uh, is Tuesday, the 19th of May. We are going to analyze the mistakes from the revision, unit four. We are going to, pay, uh, to go to work with unit five. Yeah, okay. Agreguenle, por favor, unit five. Yes. Baby, no sé si puedo sacar de vuelta otra vez esta. Baby. Yes. Ok, porque le agregué esto. Yes, ok, unit 5, pages 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, and these are the uh, pages from the homework. Ok, well, so uh, I want you to open your file, yes, open your file. Yo no voy a abrir porque tengo problemas de connectivity ahora, at this moment, yes. So you are going to open your file. Yes, and you're go I'm going to dictate the answers in case I didn't put in the correction, okay? But, um, Paula and Tiago, yes, okay, uh, pay attention with certainly, yes, certainly, and responsible, yes, okay, Tiago, responsible, yes, E, in, my ing, yes, uses of future, Tiago, yes, ok, Paula solamente certainly, fíjate, yes, ok, fíjense también los usos, ahora voy a ir a eso, yes, number two, more and more shops probably won't accept, accept cash, three, I think Manchester United will definitely, ojo, definitely will, eh, pero el este tema era certainly de los dos creo, yes, I, if I, not wrong, I think Man Manchester United will definitely win tonight. Number four, in some countries there certainly, there certainly won't be enough clean drinking water. Or there certainly won't be enough clean drinking water in some countries. Okay, there certainly won't be, or there certainly won't be enough clean ta ta ta. Yes, okay, and in some countries al final o al principio. Number five, technology will probably continue to create new kind of job. Number six, in the future, digital content will possible replace books in the classroom. Seven, computers will definitely be able to process information faster than human. Number two, could improve with new government. Three, I might move to Paris one day. Four, will definitely be one of the largest, largest. Number five, might come for lunch today. Number six, may offer you an opportunity for promotion. Number three, arrives, I will call. Ojo, three, are going to do. Four, I'll have or will have. Five, I'm visiting or I am visiting. The contractive form or the long form. Is going to study or is going to study. Seven, won't let. Four, are you doing? Three, isn't coming. Four will do, five will put, are you going to look for, does your train leave, number five will go, are going, will have, I have, Maria is, is Maria, you are having, you have, seven, we have, yes, we are, era el correcto, ok, so pay attention now. Para repasarte los usos, vas a ir a la página 162 from the grammar summary, from the class book, yes, 162. Y te vas a leer los usos. Will, yes, when you are confident about their prediction. I will certainly, yes, I will definitely, yes, ok. My company probably won't last. Yes, is it clear? Yes, so pay attention and the, the place where you have to put certainly, definitely, may or might, when you are not sure, when you don't have problems there. Here, present continuous, yes, to talk about fixed arrangement, yes, or something that is specific, yes, okay, and at a specific moment, yes. I am flying to Amsterdam at 7 o'clock, yes, I'm meeting my teacher, yes, so I'm meeting my boss at three, uh, half past three, for example, yes, or 3.30, como decía, I'm meeting my boss, yes, I'm finishing my classes at four, yes, okay, something that is uh, fixed, a 
arrange, yes? Will, when you have a decision that is a taken at the moment of, the speak, of speaking, yeah? I will finish now. I am not feeling very well, yes? Okay? We are going to, yes, for plan and intention, decide before the moment of speaking, yes? I'm going to look for, my, for a job, yes? Okay? I'm going to have one more baby, yes, okay. I'm going to uh, organize a party for your mother, yes, for your next anniversary, yes. And then the present simple for uh, schedules, yes, flights, timetables, yes, the class finishes at half past six, for example. Entonces, estudiar, estudiate, study the, uh, the uses, yes. So, Uh, I want you to go um, to pages 57, yes, 57, 58, 59, 60 and 61. Pone la fecha, por favor. Yes. And I want you to have a look at the pictures here. Wait, yes, okay, so you can see there well being, and it says find this food in the photo. Which ones do you eat? How often do you eat them? Yes, okay, do it now. Come on, and then I'm going to project a picture for you, okay, for the talking. Yes, all right. Number one, apple. There are three small green apples. Um, they are on the right. Uh, there are many orange cards uh, arranged vertically and horizontally in the photo. Yes, okay. Uh, you have green pepper. There are two green peppers. Uh, onion, yes, an onion there at the top, in the top, yes right corner yes in the top right corner yes near the apple there is a red pepper there there are uh, three red peppers visible squash there is one pale color squash there is sweet sweet potatoes do you like sweet potatoes yes or no what are sweet potatoes no mandioca no batata yes okay good um pears Yes, okay. Yes, and many more things there. Yes, okay. Two pome grenades. Yes, okay. Good, I will check the, the pronunciation there. Grapefruits. Okay, pome. you today I want you to have a look at all your um pomegranates no this is another thing pomegranate yes pomegranates yes pomegranates okay good Uh, I want you to take uh, to check um, your composition and the grammar. We have already checked the grammar together, but check your compositions, please. Okay, good. Well, uh, when you have a carrot, green pepper, onion, red pepper, squash, squash, and sweet potato. Yes. Okay. Well, um, I want you to look at the pictures I have for you. So do you um do you eat 
well? Do you consider that you eat well? Are you healthy or unhealthy? Yes, okay. Do you know what is the recommended uh, the recommended uh, portion uh, that you should eat? Yes, okay, this is the, the, the question, yes, okay, meal portions, okay, do you, um, do you know uh, about something about the recommended amount, yes, of different food groups you should eat a day, yes, okay, uh, vegetables, okay, vegetables, yes, meats, the different kind of meats, Yes, cereals, fruits, vegetables, okay? Do you know uh, which is the recommended amount, yes, we should eat to be healthy? Yes, okay? Uh, are you interested in healthy life? In, uh, do you live a healthy life? I'm drinking some water now, yeah? Okay, well, um... Well, you know the different groups, yes, you know, you have cereals, meat, fish, uh, dairy products, yes, vegetables, fruits. Do you like being healthy? Yes or no? Um, do you decide to um, follow um, a healthy diet? Yes, no, why? Yes, okay. Do you uh, consider that everyone should follow a healthy diet, a healthy life a healthy diet what do you think about the amount is the same amount for everyone yes is the same uh, do i have to eat the same amount that you have to eat for example yes i am 40 years old you are between 60s uh, so between 16 14 and 16 yes so do we all have to um eat the same amount is the same for all the people, yes, or it changes according to the age, according to uh, your muscles, okay? So this is very, very interesting, interesting, yeah, interesting, sorry. Um, well, so when well, you have cereals, okay, you have the meats, okay, you have um, daily products, yes, okay, are you used to eating? Vegetables and fruits, yes. Are you used to eating uh, cereals? Are you used to eating meat? What kind of meat are you used to eating? Do you eat uh, a lot of fish? Do you eat a lot of red meat? Because they say, it is said that uh, red meat in big portions is not very recommended. Yes, okay, to be healthy. Yes, what things do you do to be healthy? What do you eat to be healthy? Yes, so I want you to answer. Yes, number two is for working. Yes, in the oral part. Yes, okay. Or no, this is a spoiler. Okay, well, the, the eat well plate, you know. They say, it is said that you have to divide your plate like this. It is not a very good uh, picture, yes, the quality, the definition of the picture is not very good. But, you know, you have, uh, it's divided in colors, yes, okay, and you know, a very big amount for vegetables there, you know, cereals too because we need to eat cereal, yes, okay? What about um, desserts, yes? No dessert, desserts, yes, cakes, sweet, sweet things, okay? Do you eat, are you used to eating a lot of uh, sweet things? Yes or no? Are they good for our health? Yes or no? Yes, think about that, yes, okay? Well, um, so I want you to do exercise three, exercise three, Yes, okay. We're going to listen, yes? Okay, I'm going to turn it off because of the light. Because of the light. It comes straight to my eyes, yes, and I can't see. Okay, well, so talking about that at home, yes? Well, 
this topic. Yes, okay, we are going to listen. Yes, listen, listen, listen. Ta -da, ta -da. The thing is that I have many, um, I'm, I'm giving many courses, yes, courses. And, you know, I have a lot of listening. I have a lot of plans in my head. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, that is a good practice. Yes, for remember everything. Yes, okay. Well, how are you today? How are you dealing on uh, with dealing with all the things of staying at home? Yes, okay. What things do you want to do? Do you want to do that you are not doing? Yes, okay. Well, I want to go to the hairdresser. Yes, okay. Are you afraid of going out this day? Yeah, because I feel uh, a bit afraid. Yeah, because they say here in Formosa the virus isn't. It isn't here yet. Yes, I hope, well, it doesn't come. Yes, but what do you think about it? Yes, okay. Do we have to continue staying at home? Yes. Uh, what things do we have to continue doing? Yes, at home. Think about that. Do you, uh, for example, if you have to go to the hairdresser, would you go? If you have to go, will you go? Yes, okay. I think I will, but I'm not sure, yes, because I'm a bit afraid, because I think all the people, yes, not you, but all the people might be, must be conscious about cleaning their hands, um, uh, wearing the, the things they have to wear to protect, glasses and everything, yes? So, you know, it's a bit difficult, yes. But let's go back to our well-being. Yes, okay, so we're going to listen, yes, listen, 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 and you have to uh, see your chart there, yes, uh, complete, yes, listen to the extra from a radio program about food, and you have to complete the table, remember to read first, cereal, pasta, blah, 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 snacks, uh, are you used to eating a lot of snacks, yes, they say um, you have to be careful with the portion of salt you eat, because salt is very unhealthy for your body. Yes, okay. There we are. Track 34, Unit 5 Opener. Really, the first thing to say about food is that everyone has different needs. That means we can't say a portion should be this... Su we have already talked about that. Every person needs, yes, a different uh, amount for depending on their bodies, yes, okay? Size. What you have to do is eat for the size that you are. The first thing to say about food is that everyone has different needs. That means we can't say a portion should be this size. What you have to do is eat for the size that you are. So children obviously need to eat less than adults, and most women need to eat less than most men. How do you know how much to eat? Use your body as a guide. So for a typical adult woman, the amount of cereal or rice in a portion is the same size as your clenched fist. Notice I say your, not a fist. It's the size of your hand that matters. If you're eating a piece of meat, then make sure it's no bigger than the palm of your hand. For snacks like popcorn, the biggest portion size is two of your own handfuls. And for cakes, which we all know we need to be careful with, then the portion should be the size of two of your fingers. That doesn't sound like very much. Exactly. No, when you go to the nutritionist, they always teach you that, teach, that yes, they always teach you that uh, the amount of um, meat, for example, if you want to eat a churrasco, must be the size of uh, the palm of your hand. Yes, okay? So it's very interesting, but sometimes if you are not uh, conscious enough, it's very difficult to, um, to follow uh, this uh, kind of uh, routine because it is a routine you have to be used to eating well because it's, uh, you have to be conscious yes okay I remember the first time I went to the nutritionist 
I went with my mother. We didn't know uh, in, uh, oh my God, it, uh, when I was, I am 40 now, and it was when I was uh, 20 years old, more or less, we went to the nutritionist and it wasn't very fashionable to go to the nutritionist at those days. There weren't many nutritionists in Formosa, but I remember the first nutritionist I went and I really liked her because uh, she taught, uh, taught us how to read because it wasn't fashionable at that moment, yes? How to read the, nutritional, the, the nutritional information that you have in all the packets, for example, in a packet of crackers, in a packet of cookies, yes? And until that moment in my family, we weren't used to reading everything, all the information, and from that day, onwards yes uh, I got used to reading all the uh, information uh, the salt it has uh, the grasas saturadas yes and everything yes okay and um, and it's very very interesting very interesting it was very interesting because we didn't uh, we weren't used to all the things yes and I think uh, we need to be informed about what we eat every day and sometimes it is uh, it happens to me that when you are nervous yes okay uh, say imagine she said she said uh, she told me okay suppose you are very nervous because you are you have a lot of things to do a lot of corrections you are you have been sitting correcting for long for a long period and sometimes and most of the time it is said that uh, you need some caffeine, yes? Uh, you need to com consume some sugar, yes? Because your brain needs that, yes? And you have to choose. If you go to the fridge, you have to choose. Okay, I will eat a piece of cake or I will eat a banana. And you have to be what? Intelligent enough for choosing the healthy thing. Yes, for example, a banana, because it gives you more energy and you need more energy because you are, your battery is, yes, you are low battery. Yes, it is said low battery. Well, and you have to be conscious when eating, but sometimes, yes, but sometimes, yes, uh, we, uh, I think we are leading uh, 24 hour, 24 hours um, life, yes, because we are uh, working too much, because we are thinking about jobs, because we are thinking about money and about everything, and yes, uh, yes, we don't live, we don't lead, oh, and we don't live a healthy life, yeah, because we got the first thing we got, we got a piece of cake, yes. We are very nervous, yes? We don't sleep well. And sleeping well, yes? I was working until late last night, until three, yes? And it is wrong, don't do that, yes? Because then you will be low battery. You will need energy and you won't have energy, yes? Okay, so sleeping is another thing a professional teach you yes a professional teaches you when you go yes okay uh, to the um, to to the um, when you go to the doctor for example they say okay you should sleep more because you are you are not sleeping well yes and if you are stressed yes that is another problem yes maybe you are not eating well maybe you are not drinking enough water maybe you are eating uh, the wrong the, the wrong uh, kind of food and it's a uh, molotov <laughs> yes okay so there are many things we have to take into account when uh, we're talking about well-being yes okay it's difficult but uh, if you want to live more yes if we want to live more we should follow a healthy diet uh, do exercises yes and everything yes okay well so uh, number three Yes, okay, one, yes, okay, your, number, uh, then you have the palm of your hand, two, of your own, yes, okay, 
and two of your own finger. Yes, and then you have, uh, does any information in exercise three surprise you? How much attention do you pay to your diet? Do you uh, pay a lot of attention to your diet? Oh, well, okay. You go to the supermarket and you buy to supermarket and you buy everything. Yes, you buy what you want. Uh, you eat a lot of snacks, salty things. Okay. Um, but you say no? I'm very thin. I don't care. Yes, I will eat a lot of sugar. I will eat a lot of salt. Okay. Are you interested? Do you take care of your health? Yes or no? Of your diet? Okay, are you interested in amounts? Yes, okay. Are you interested in calories? You count? Do you count calories? I used to have um, well, a person I know, I won't say who, yes, but uh, it was a she, yes, okay. Um, she counted all the calories she ate. Oh my god, and it was crazy, yes, but. Well, she had a very great body. Um, yes, it was she was studying. Yeah, but you know, uh, she was a bit obsessed. Yes, with counting all the calories and everything. Yes, okay, but well, it's okay. Well, and in say what ways can food and diet? In what ways can food and diet influence your health? In many ways. Yes, in many ways. Yes, okay. We have already talked about that and I think uh, we have to try uh, to drink a lot of water, sleep well. Yes, they say sleeping well. Yes. Uh, stress is another of our problems because you say, you know, okay, am I, am I, uh, I am an adolescent, I am a teenager, but I don't have problems. Okay. Stress is for adults, but it's not true yes you are um passing through through um adolescence and sometimes it's hard depending on the things you have to live with okay so yes try to eat well try to um drink a lot of water try to sleep well yes so um we are going to uh continue being healthy so let's go to, um, you know what are the traditional dishes from Argentina? Do you think we have traditional things? Um, I want you to tell uh, me to think about, think about it and with which traditional things, yes, which traditional things, food, yes, not things, food, but food, do we have in Argentina? It's a bit difficult to say which food are traditional in Argentina because we have a lot of uh, a mixture of cultures people that came yes to live here Italian um, people from many places so then we created yes a mixture of food yes but we are going to um, you're going to see I, I chose uh, these uh, pictures because I consider they are very very Argentinian, yes, okay, uh, wait, be patient, because I have a lot of pictures here that I will uh, use, okay, so we have there, yes, I want you to see that, and I want you to tell me if you have ever tried locro, yes, do you like locro, yes, have you ever tried locro, I have, but it has a lot of calories for me, yes, okay, Tiago, you can try a locro because you are <laughs> very thin. Yes, okay. Well, both, all of you are very thin. Yes, I think you don't have problems with calories, but the locro, have you ever tried locro? Locro is a very uh, Argentinian dish, yes? And you know what it's made of, yes? Okay, I'm not going to um, give details about the uh, preparation of this food. Yes, but say, how often do you eat it? How often do you make this dish? Okay, and what's your favorite traditional dish? Yes, okay. Um, I don't like locro a lot. Yeah, I don't like this kind of uh, food. Yes, it is, it is very, okay, it has a lot of calories. And you know, when you finish eating locro, you have to eat, uh, uh, run and run and run to lose all the calories. Yes, you have um, introduced, yes, 
um, to your body. Yes, you have eaten. Yeah. Okay. So this is very Argentinian. Yes, asado, the barbecue. Yes, barbecue. Okay. Uh, well, I think uh, you have already tried barbecue. Yes. Okay. You have already eaten, not try barbecue. Yes. Okay. This is a very. Uh, it's very traditional. Um, food from Argentina. When do we eat barbecue? When do we, we eat asado? Yes, okay, on Sundays in, in your house, for example. When do you eat a barbecue? When do you eat barbecue? On Saturdays, on Sundays, on Friday night? Yes. And uh, there is a tradition behind, um, there is a tradition behind uh, barbecue, yes? All the people get together, friends, yes, okay, in a party, in a birthday party, uh, uh, friends day, for example, yes, uh, um, to celebrate special occasion, you get together, yes, with your friends, and you celebrate a party, uh, an, an, a wedding anniversary, and you celebrate eating barbecue, asado, yes, okay? How often do you eat it? Yes, every day, uh, on Sunday, on Saturday. Do you like uh, cooking barbecue? Or do you prefer other person uh, cooks the barbecue for you? Who is the best chef? Yes, in your uh, family, yes? That you say, okay, he makes the bar, he cooks the barbecue mm, deliciously. Yes, so I want you to think about that. Yes, okay, so we have already gone. Um, we have already seen locro, asado, um, well, you know, all the asado there, all the barbecue there, oh my god. Then we have the chorizos also, but uh, there is a, a, a special kind of um, chorizos, yes, okay, a choripan, well, you know, but I'm talking about the very, very, very traditional uh, dishes from Argentina, yes, I, I have more there. Well, you got barbecue there, yes, okay. Uh, you have empanadas there. We can say, uh, it, it, they say that uh, the empanadas are from England, in fact. Yes, okay. Uh, they um, used to take this kind of empanadas, yes, to the war. Yes, so I don't know, it's a mixture, yes. It's a mixture of everything, yes, okay. No vamos a entrar mucho en detalles, yeah? Okay, because we have to, uh, it's history, yes, okay? Well, you know, uh, the croissants, no, but the mate, yes, yes, okay, you have mate there, yes, okay, the yerba mate, when do you drink mate, Well, you share mate, now you can't with the pandemia, yes, but, um, do you like drinking mate? I don't like mate, yes, okay? I used to drink terere in the past, but now I don't drink it anymore. Yes, okay? Um, I have some kind of stomach problems when I drink very, drink it very cold, yes, okay? But I used to drink with uh, juice, yes, okay? Well, the mate, when I started, I used to drink mate because I thought that the mate could help me to be awake, but it wasn't true. Yes, okay. Well, so I want you to pay attention about that. I want you to think about all the dishes from Argentina. Yes, um, when do you eat this kind of dishes? Uh, why? Yes, okay. Uh, why do you like it? If you like them or not? Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Good. Well, this was the talking from this unit, okay? Um, I will need for another um, topic there. Okay, well, so number one is done. I want you to go to exercises two, four, five, six, yes, from 59, yes, y ahí nos quedamos. But first of all, yes, I want you to um, look at the board again. Yes. And this is the locro again. 
Yes, okay. Good. I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si alcanzan a ver bien esto. Yes, but I will read it. Yes. Not suitable for... Are you used to... Um, are you used to reading the labels when you go to the supermarkets? Because you have some labels, yes, okay, uh, in the um, in the packets, yes, okay. So uh, these are labels, yes, from food packaging, yes, okay, and it says uh, not suitable for vegetarian, yes, okay. Yo te voy a poner un poquito más cerca. Así vos lo podés leer. This is the same that you have in the book, but I wanted to project it for working. All right? Not suitable for vegetarian. Then number two, you have not suitable for people. Are you used to reading this kind of labels? Yes, when, when you have the package of something. Are you used to read it or you don't care really? Okay? But I think it's very interesting. Yes, if you have any kind of allergies too. Yes, okay? Number one, not suitable for vegetarians. Number two, not suitable for people with nut allergies. Yes, okay. Uh, do you know any person that is allergic to tomatoes, nut? Yes? No? Okay. But it's, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. Yes, because, you know, uh, suppose they are um, very little. Yes, they are. It is a child. He or she is a child and he or she goes to a birthday party, for example, and there is a sandwich that is made of nut, yes? Or if, if, it, if it contains um, uh, nut, for example, you know, they have a very serious problem because they can't breathe, yes? And you have to run to the, for the emergency, yes? Or um, run to the hospital, okay? Do not eat more than the recommended daily intake of salt, Number three, multi-pack of four, not for sale, separately, heat before serving, yes, not recommended for diabetics, okay? So, these are labels, labels that you have in, pack, in, in food, yes, packaging, okay? So, if you have to advise someone, which is the, which is the modal verb that you should, ah, this is spoiler, okay? It should, yes, okay. If you have to use should, which um, which sentence could you do? Okay, should, okay? Good, very good, Tiago. Vegetarians shouldn't eat this product, yes? Remember, should, shouldn't, yes? To give advice, yes, okay? Remember, we are revising all the modal verbs, okay? Good. So you have should and shouldn't there. Okay, ahora no salgo en el plano, chicos, porque estoy... Eh, quiero que quede eso de plano, yes? Vos vas siguiendo en tu casa. Yes, should and shouldn't. What other things a vegetarian shouldn't eat, yes? Shouldn't eat a lot of, uh, yes, meat. They should drink a lot of water. Yes, okay, good. Well, and there we have um, number two. Yes, there we are. Number two, yes, okay. If you have to use, don't have to, or mustn't, not suitable for people with nut allergies. Allergies, allergies. Yes, okay. So, which one would you choose? Don't have to or mustn't? Yes, which one did you choose? Okay, they are. Mustn't, well done, yes. Porque es algo más fuerte, strong, yes. Must or mustn't, yes, okay. Good, yes. So, they are, yes. Which one would be the sentence? The sentence? Okay, people with nut allergies mustn't eat. This product, yes? Okay, do not eat more than the recommended daily intake of salt. Which, which one did you use? Remember, you have obligation, permission, prohibition, yes, advice or recommendation. So, ¿qué queremos hacer acá? Advice, muy bien. So, you shouldn't eat 
more than the recommended daily intake. Acá podemos poner un shouldn't, yes, otra vez, shouldn't, you shouldn't eat, blah, blah, blah. Remember, you have all the morals plus infinitive, yes, okay, morals plus infinitive, yes, okay, is it clear? Good. Then we go to multipack food, not for say separately. Yes, separate, separately. Yes, okay. Um, what's that? Yes, good. Well done. Yes. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué sería? Obligation, prohibition, prohibition. Yes. Entonces, ¿qué voy a usar? ¿Qué tenemos? ¿Te acordás que se usaba? Bueno, bueno, puede ser. Y hay una que va mucho mejor. Yes. Not allowed. Yes. You are not allowed. Yes. Allowed to. You are not allowed to sell this food. Yes. Separately. Yes. Okay. Is it clear? All right. Yes or no? Yes, okay. Good. Number five. Yes, okay. What you have to do there? Oh, there is a spoiler. Yes, okay. Good. Yes, have to. Acordate que el más uh, viene de donde. Yes, tenemos similares. Must to y have to tienen un uh, similar meaning. Yes, okay. But we always use uh, have to in spoken English to talk about obligation. And in formal written English, we prefer to use must. Yes, okay. But, um, but uh, mustn't and don't have to have very uh, different meaning. Mustn't expresses a rule. Acordate siempre que es una rule. Yes, we mustn't. Yes, we use mustn't to say, yes, don't do this. Don't have to doesn't express a rule. Yes, we use don't have to say, it is not necessary to do it. Ok, acordate entonces que cuando quieres expresar una rule, que vamos a usar más. Yes, ok, good. Entonces acá, uh, y después habla en spoken and written English, vamos a usar más uh, written, la parte de más. Yes, ok. You have to hit this product before, yes? You have to hit, yes? Okay, acá podría ser las dos en realidad también. You must hit before serving, yes? Or you have to, yes? Okay. And the last one, diabetics, ¿qué? Estoy dando qué cosa. ¿Cuál le pondrías ahí? Shouldn't, yes? Okay, not recommended, shouldn't, yes? Y también podría ser mustn't. Yes, en realidad dice no recomendado. Yes, okay. So, I want you to think about it. Yes, and revise. Yes, that's why I want you to go to page 116. 116 from the classbook. Yes, 116 from the classbook. Yes, and you have the grammar there. Yes, the summary. Yes, you have the summary there, and I want you to highlight all the modal verbs, yes, obligation, prohibition, advice, must, the differences between must, yes, customer must not, mustn't enter the kitchen, yes, the restaurant, the restaurant is huge, you don't have to book a table, it's not necessary. Yes, ok. Acordate más. Cuando hablamos de una regla, vamos a usar uh, must. Yes, ok. Así todo subrayado lo que te fue diciendo la teacher hoy. Yes, ok. Good. Well, acordate que los usos de... Sí, ya me lo sé a los modal verbs. Va modal más infinitive. But the thing is that you need to study the uses. Ok. Bueno. Let's go very quickly to that exercise. Yes, ok. Did you know... Um, I want you to read at home, yes, because this text, Pizza with a Pedigree, is very, very, uh, highlight the chart, please, okay, highlight the charts there, 
Yes, we have already gone to page 164, but highlight the chart, don't forget to do that. Yes, and it says, um, what are the traditional dishes? All in exercise one is for talking. We have already done the, we have already done these exercises. So this is the time that you will post the video. I will dictate the answers, but then you will listen to the answers. Okay. Uh, this is a very, uh, very uh, informative text, and I really like it. Like it because I didn't know many things about uh, the pizza with a pedigree. A pizza with a pedigree. Yes. Um, and you know, my husband is a, a cook, yes, and we were talking about this text, yes, okay, and the things about wine, about uh, wines, about um, pizzas, about um, the different kind of cheese that exist, okay. And what you have, uh, I, I want you to highlight elite, pedigree, yes, strict, yes, okay. Well, really, because it's uh, very entertaining. Yes, okay, um, you know, um, in order, it says, in order to qualify products, you know, um, they have to pass, yes, okay, very strict tests, yes, and sometimes you can't imagine how many tests, wines, uh, foods with a pedigree, because they say uh, pizza napoletana is one of the elite group of European Union and it's certified, yes, okay, um, you know, there are many products, yes, that are certified um, by the, uh, by a group of the community, uh, the European uni Union, yes, okay, and you know, they have to pass a lot of, uh, a lot of tests, yes, strict tests for having this uh, certification, yes, if you have to say that, yes, if you say that. Good? Well, okay, um, and you know there is um, a story behind the pizza, yes, behind pizza, because it was um, many, many, many years before, okay, in night, um, before night, yes, okay, in 1997, before Christ, okay, yes, 997, yes, AD, yes, okay, um, a long time ago, pizza was, uh, they tried to ban pizza, yes, uh, but they couldn't because there were political groups, yes, that tried to ban pizza because it was a symbol for the rivals of the rivals in the south, yes, of Italy, and there was a kind of um, thing there, Yes, it belongs to history and it's very, very interesting. They couldn't. Yes, they couldn't. Okay, well, but I want you to read it. Yes, I will go uh, directly to the answers there. Okay, so we have exercise two. It is the news. It is in the news that it has become a European Union certified food and drink product. Two, Scottish farmed salmon, Spanish melon from La Mancha. I haven't tried the melon. From La Mancha, yes, uh, and in English, blue slim ton, slim, still ton cheese, yes, still, still ton cheese. The diameter, you know, well, they have to follow a strict thing, yes, about um, they have to be uh, thick, X, mm -mm, thick, they have to have the right ingredients. Um, everything is regulated yes yeah? so okay the diameter the thickness of crust ingredients and application of ingredients are regulated yes it's very interesting yes i'm very strict yes okay number four we have already done uh, on the board vegetarian shouldn't drink eat use this product number two people with nut allergy mustn't eat this product you shouldn't eat more than the recommended daily intake of salt Four, you are not allowed to sell um, the four items in the multipack separately. You have to heat this product before serving. Diabetics shouldn't eat, drink, use uh, this product. Yes. Number um, six. Yes, I want, in number five, I want you to highlight potatoes, red beans, steak, 
yes, or oysters, yeah. And tell me if you have ever eaten fugu, yes, a darian, and the shark meat, oysters, yes, if you would like to try yes or no, yes, okay, yes or not, yes, okay. I have, I have never tried any of this, yes, okay, David has tried oysters and it says he has, he has cooked them and he has tried them and they are very expensive and they are very delicious, but I haven't. Yes, maybe in the future I will try. Yes, but not yet. Yes, I want you to go to exercise six. We are going to do the listening. Yes, okay. How are you feeling so far? Okay, I'm feeling hungry. Yes, good. Well, um, there we are. All right. Track 36, unit 5A. One. Six. I've never tried durian. Have you? Apparently it tastes Sorry. much better than it smells. Sorry. No, I haven't tried it. But I know that it smells so much that you aren't allowed to take it on buses in Singapore. Mm. Two. They smell. What's fugu? F-U-G-U. Oh, I know what it is. It's a kind of fish they eat in Japan. It's actually poisonous, hmm. so only qualified chefs are allowed to prep. You know, they are poison, yes? Because I was, um, at the weekend I was preparing the classes, yes? And we were talking about fugu, yes? Only some um, uh, chefs, some cooks, yes, can, uh, are qualified to um, cook them because they have poison. Could you dare, yes, to try it? I won't. Pair it in restaurants. If you actually poisonous, so only qualified chefs are allowed Poisons. to prepare it in restaurants. If you eat the wrong part, it can kill you. Mm -hmm. Three. Can you eat shark meat? Yes, it's popular in lots of countries. Sometimes you have to ferment it first because the fresh meat is bad for you. Mm -hmm. That's what they do in Iceland. It's called Hakal there. Hakal. Four. Are you going to boil those potatoes like that without peeling them? Did yeah. you listen that you have to ferment um, the shark meat first before eating? Okay. Is it a process? It is a process. Uh, why? You don't have to peel potatoes before you boil them. Yes, you do. At least that's what we do in my house. You know, Five. have you ever tried, well, I don't know how you are used to doing at home, but in my house, in my parents' house, we used to peel the potatoes. But then when I got married, yes, I started eating the potatoes with the, um, with the skin, let's say, yes, and it's very, very, very delicious. You put it in, you put it in the oven and, oh my God, yes, also with the sweet potato. You can do it also with the sweet potato. I love eating oysters, but I can never remember when it's safe to eat them. The rule is you mustn't eat them in the warm summer months, but I don't know why not. In summer? Six. What? I feel a bit sick. I wonder if it was the mayonnaise on my salad. Was it fresh mayonnaise? Mm, mayonnaise. You should avoid using raw eggs in mayonnaise, didn't you know? They can make you ill. You know, when you... um. Have you ever uh, done homemade mayonnaise? Yes, and it says it's very, it's very uh, dangerous because sometimes, uh, because of the eggs. Yes, so when you prepare homemade mayonnaise, you have to be very carefully. Yes, okay, very careful. You have to prepare it very carefully. Seven. And more in Formosa because here it's very, very hot. Imagine you are preparing mayonnaise, yes, in summer. Oh my God. Are you making chili con carne? Yes, but the recipe says you must boil red beans for 15 minutes or they aren't safe to eat. Hmm. Do you think that's right? Eight. What's this on the menu? Steak tartare. Is that raw steak? Yes, you can eat steak raw. It's cut into very thin pieces. You should try it. 
I have a story with the steak, tar steak tartare. Do you want me to tell you? Yes? Okay. Well, we were in, uh, in France, yes? But the thing was like this, yes? We were very, very, very hungry, yes? And I always remember, remember when I am in this unit, yes? Um, we asked for the menu, yes? We were very hungry. And, okay, we wanted to eat something different, yes? And it was very cold that day. So I say, I read the menu and of course, all the, um, all the uh, menu was part in English and part in French. Yes, okay, and the description there. And, okay, you know, steak, you know, it sounds to you. But I say, no, 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 I will eat this because you have, in brackets, you have the preparation. It's meat with minced meat, yes, and everything. And I chose a kind of ready meal with spaghetti, yes? And David chose steak, steak tartare, yes? And he asked me, okay, uh, well, I don't think it's uh, raw, because it says raw meat and everything. And I said, raw is crudo, I say. But I didn't, I didn't know uh, the, um, the, the preparation, yes? So the food came. Of course, I was very happy. Uh, with my, um, you know, uh, kind of spaghetti and the kind of bread to be. But when David saw his food, uh, yes, okay, the, the, um, the meat, you know, he's a cook, yes, but then he remember when he studied that the steak tartare is raw, was raw, yes, okay, oh my God, he said, it's raw. I will put some le lemon juice Yes, for eating this, yeah, because the steak tartare is like this, the preparation is like this. Yes, uh, well, I remember, yes, okay, he could eat everything because we were very hungry. We have been working for many hours. We have uh, gone sightseeing and, you know, when you are a tourist, when you are doing tourist things, yes, you are, you, then you sit, but it was, I don't know, fifth in the afternoon, yes, and I never forgot uh, the steak tartare, yeah, because it, Yes, he's not, he, we are not used to eating raw meat. Yes, but it's raw meat. The preparation is like this. So if you go to France, be careful with the steak tartare. Yes, okay, good. At least you like eating raw meat. Yes, okay. Well, good. Well, so we go to number one, take during uh, Darian, yes, uh, on buses in Singapore. Yes, only qualified chefs prepare food. Acordate, el fugu, yes, tiene eh, veneno, eh? it's poisonous, yes, only some kind of um, qualified chefs can um, cook it, yes, uh, ferment, hakat, feast, yes, okay, first, yes, peel potatoes before you boil them, eat oysters in summer, in the warm summer month, Avoid using raw eggs in the mayonnaise. Yes, okay. You uh, boil red beans for 15 minutes. Eat steak raw. Okay. Well, exercise eight. Yes, okay. This is for you to do at home. Rules uh, you had to follow when you were at primary. Yes, you must wear a uniform. Uh, you must uh, wear what? White socks, for example, you must, this is part of the uniform, yes, okay? You must go to school on time. Uh, information that you should be on the labels, yes? Okay, what information should be on labels, yes? We have already talked about that. Places where you are not allowed to eat hot food, table manners, yes, okay? Don't eat, yes? You mustn't eat, you mustn't talk when you are eating, for example, or while you are eating or when you, with your food mouth yes okay things you are only allowed to do when you are 18 yes you are allowed to uh, drive if you are 18 you are allowed to vote yes but if you are 16 yeah question you shouldn't ask someone you don't know yes for example you shouldn't ask a lady her age Yes, okay. <laughs> Don't ask Mirta. You shouldn't ask Mirta Legrand about her age. Yes, okay. Good. Well, uh, for, the, for all the ones who see us, Mirta Legrand is a very famous, a very popular, uh, it's a lady, yes, um, from um, 
Argentina, yes, she has a program, yes, and she invites politicians, actors, actresses, yes, okay? Well, so let's go to pages 60 and 61, pages 60 and 61, yes, okay? So, um, there you have imaginary eating. This text is really amazing, yes? Because did you, uh, do you agree with the idea that you can control uh, everything with your mind? Suppose you are following a diet, yes? And you have to control um, your int the, interest, the interest you have for eating with your mind. For example, I want to eat a cake, I want to eat a cake, I want to eat barbecue, I want to eat, yes? But think about, you have to think about the food, yes? Okay, and think about the food you want to eat, but in your mind, imagine you are eating it, and then, okay, come on, I have eaten, but it's in my mind, yes, do you agree, this, okay, do you agree with the idea that uh, the better we are at using the power, then when making decisions and controlling certain behaviors, the, healthy, the healthier we will become, yes? So I want you to read this. Yes, what do you think about imaginary imaginary eating? What do you think it is? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. What do you think? Yes. If, if, if with this technique you can control the desire, yes, of eating. Yes, your desire, um, and reduce the amount of things are bad yes uh, the amount of calories or the amount of bad things you eat every day but try if you want yes but i think uh your mind is very powerful you can do many things with your mind yes okay um well if you have the power yes okay for doing it yes okay well uh do you agree with the, them yes and you have self-belief yes willpower yes train your mind yes okay well Okay, if you say, for example, I will be, I am lucky, I am lucky, I am lucky, and then you become lucky because you can control all the things with your mind. Think about it, yes, okay? Uh, what do you think about this technique? Yes, imaginary eating. So let's go to the listening now. Yes, okay. Track 39, Unit 5B. Hi, Jack. Have you read this item on imaginary eating? Hi, Lynn. Yes, I saw it this morning. What a load of rubbish. I've okay. never heard anything so ridiculous. Okay, if so he doesn't agree. I agree with the text. But he says it's rubbish. Do you think this is rubbish? Well, it has a bit of everything. Because we, if I have to say, okay, I have to lose 10, 10 kilos again. Okay. I will try the imaginary eating technique. Yes, okay. <laughs> I will, I will. If we think about eating food, we'll lose weight, it said. Mm, not exactly. It said if you think about eating food, you stop wanting to eat it so much. You stop wanting to eat it. You're this, to eat it so much. The desire, you stop the desire of eating. Yes. So if you don't eat it, then you might lose weight. Mm. I thought it made sense. No, it's rubbish. I'll believe it when I see it. You can't think yourself thin. Well, I'm not so sure. I think willpower is really important, especially where food is concerned. Hmm. Imagine you are overweight and you want to lose a few kilos. Willpower. This is very important when you are going on a diet. But nowadays, nutritionists, a nutritionist, nutritionist says that you don't have to uh, follow a strict diet. You have to get used to eating healthy yes okay so there is a difference between going on a strict diet and eating getting used to eating healthy if you don't train your mind you won't be able to lose weight i reckon you can achieve anything if you believe you can do it hmm. you mean like mind over body hmm. well okay mental attitude is important when you're trying to change something in your life but I don't think that's the same as what the news item said. So, are you going to do this imaginary eating thing then? Do you really think it'll work? Yeah, why not? 
I won't find out unless I try. And what exactly are you going to do then? Okay, let's think. I eat too many crisps and snacks, right? So, when I want to eat a snack, I'll try just imagining that I'm eating it. Hey, you know what? This could be amazing. I'll never need to buy chocolate again if this technique works. Well, I can't believe my ears. Hey, as soon as it starts working, I'll let you know. Self-belief, that's what's important. I'm going to buy you some chocolate just in case. I think you'll need it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, good. So, you know, I can't believe... Listen to what I'm going to say. Yes, I can't believe my ears. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are together again. You know, I can't believe my ears. Listen, yes, okay, good. Well, um, let's go to exercise four. Yes, okay. Uh, one true, two true, three true, four false, five true, six true, okay? Good. Um, do you agree with the comment? Well, this is your idea. If you agree or if you disagree, okay? Okay, what do you think? Um, yes, do you, I don't agree with this idea. I think it's more important to eat ba a balanced diet. I agree that it is important to eat um, a balanced diet, but the mental attitude, mental, not the mental attitude is very important uh, for life. In general yes uh, for doing exercises because sometimes you feel tired but you say okay I, I, do, I will do my routine of exercises it doesn't matter if, if we are in quarantine or if we yes okay any problem yes if I am tired yes but you continue doing so um, mind over uh, body yes I agree with it mental attitude you have to have a positive mental a positive uh, attitude to life Yes, um, yes, and a goal in life, yes, okay, good. Um, well, so let's go to exercise page 61, yes, we're about to finish, and we have the first conditional, yes, how do you form the first conditional? If plus present, plus will, okay, uh, if you follow the diet, you will lose weight, yes, okay, and you have it there, Yes, I want you to highlight, you already know this, but the things that we are going to focus on are going to be, yes, I want you to go to page 164, 164, get used to it, yeah, and I want you to highlight the first conditional, if present plus will, but I am very interested in this, okay, in uh, when, as soon as, unless, Yes, unless, as soon as, until and before. Because we are not going to focus on learning if plus present plus will, because you have already learned it before. But we are going to focus on when, as soon as, unless and before. Yes, so I want you to, I have already written my examples, and I want you to, before going to exercises 7, 8 and 9, seven, eight, and nine, you are going to write your own examples on a sheet of paper, and then you are going to, uh, on a piece of paper, and then you're going to stick the piece of paper in your notebook, all right? Is it clear? Good. So let's go, okay? Um, you have, when I finish the classes, I will go to sleep. Yes? Okay. Um, when I finish, um, when I finish my corrections, I will hand them to you. Is it clear? As soon as my mom's arrive home, we will have dinner. As soon as I finish my corrections, I will take a rest. Is it clear? So I want you to write own examples using these words, okay? So I want you to focus not only on the grammar and the conditional, but on the words, okay? Unless you stop eating junk food, yes, you won't improve your diet, you won't lose weight. Unless you stop eating um, junk food, uh, you won't lose weight, yes. Uh, you won't improve your English, 
Yes, until. Yes, until you study. Yes, you won't lose weight. Yes, until you um, um start eating healthy. Yes, okay. Um, I will read. You know, I will. You know what I will do? I will read my favorite book. Yes, before I go to sleep. Yes. Uh, will you uh, read? Or no. Will you watch series on Netflix before you go to sleep tonight? Yes. Okay. So I want you to write your own ideas and focus on these words because you know if plus present plus we. You know with if you already know. But now we are going to uh, focus on the new uses. Okay. Highlight uh, the uses on page one hundred and sixty-four. Yes, and do exercises seven, seven, eight, and nine. All right, there we go. Um, now is the time that you pause the video and then listen to the answers. Okay, is it clear? I will take seven, eight, and nine. Okay, good, good, good. One, okay, are you there? If you believe, I will be. Will be, sorry. I need, want. Yes, that is a future possibility. Don't buy, won't be able. Find, will you, let, reduce, will lose. Yes. Will give up, do. Don't try, I'll never, you'll never, uh, will never know. Will, eat or use. Yeah, okay, um, you know, could, uh, yes, this, the last one could be, uh, could also use, be used in future, yes, for future possibility, yes, okay, uh, let's go to exercise nine, yes, you have to cross out, cross it as soon as, cross out, both are correct in exercise three, both are correct in exercise four, you have to cross out before, five, when, uh, six, you have to cross out unless. Seven, both are correct. And eight, you have to cross out unless. Okay? Exercise nine. Well, this is for you. Yes? I want you to highlight all these words because all these words are very useful, useful when you are talking about um, food. Avoid, change, cut down on. I think you have to cut down on sugar. Is it clear? Do you know what's the meaning of cut down is? Okay. Uh, avoid eating sugar. Yes. Change your way of eating. Yes. Uh, give up smoking. Reduce uh, the amount of salt you are eating. And take up on sport. Okay. Is it clear? Good. Highlight all the charts. Yes. And in the last one, I want you to put three minutes video. Yes. Okay. Porque nos va a ayudar para el video. Yes. Share it, um, esto es para el next video, no te preocupes, pero subrayalo, ok? Well, so, um, it was a very nice uh, class, I hope you have enjoyed. See you next class, do the homework, pages 36, 37, 38, 39, you will have a photo pizarra, bye bye, fourth year.